hello. So, I really am just in the mood to chit chat. I really am. I've never gotten the appeal of like starting a podcast. I feel like podcasts have become very popular nowadays. And I was just like, mm. Oh, I don't really know why people would want to do that, but now I, I do, I get it. Um, because I just, I really just want to talk, and I want everyone to listen to me. So, although you may have come here for a paint with me, um, you're also getting my podcast, which is now, this is it, this is it. It's not really a podcast, but it is for me. Anyways, so, you're here for the painting, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um... I'm painting some more fish. This is acrylic on canvas. Um, I don't remember the dimensions and I no longer have this painting with me. I'll talk about that in a second. So I don't know the dimensions, but yeah, acrylic on canvas. And I painted it for an arts festival that's in my area this weekend. So I was really rushed because the deadline for like submitting the artwork was yesterday. Did I do this yesterday? I guess so. So I did it in two days, um, like a little over 12 and a half hours it took me, which I'm a very slow painter. So for me, that was a little rushed, um, but maybe it was a good thing that I didn't have time to like overwork it. I don't know. This arts festival, I only found out about it last year, uh, which is kind of embarrassing because I've lived in this area for like seven years. But yeah, last year, my friend who volunteers asked me if I wanted to volunteer face paint and I was like heck yeah have I ever face painted a day in my life no I hadn't but I learned and now I'm doing it again this year but this year my you know said friend I, I don't know why I'm calling her my friend Mary you guys know Mary um uh, Mary and I submitted artwork this year which this is the painting that I submitted I feel like every single time I talk about painting I say the same exact thing it's like I'm a robot but I have not been painting that much recently I don't do that much art consistently ever i don't really remember the last time i consistently made stuff i did take an art class earlier this year but it was called um art studio foundations or foundations of studio art or something like that and so it was a lot of like the basics of artwork you know we did like cutting paper with exacto knives and like gluing it smooth and flat like it was like a lot of that kind of stuff not like actual painting and drawing you know what i mean so yeah, I really don't remember the last time I painted something besides for this. So I feel very rusty and I have just been like this for so long. And I feel like a lot of artists can relate. I feel like I can't even call myself an artist anymore. Like I feel weird. I have like this weird imposter syndrome about calling myself an artist or saying that I like to do art. It was such a huge part of my personality for like ever growing up. You know, every time it was my birthday or Christmas or something. All I got was like art supplies and that was like my thing, you know, I was the artist in like my small elementary school like class, you know what I mean? And when my friends introduced me, they're like, oh my gosh, this is the artist I was telling you about, you know, I showed you her painting or whatever. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, hey, I like, I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable because I don't know if I consider myself an artist anymore. I don't know. And I feel like in actuality, you can be an artist no matter what. But, you know, when it comes to me and myself thinking of myself and my perception of what I, whatever, big words are confusing. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's something I struggle with. But recently, um, hmm, I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm going to talk about someone real quick. And if they're watching this, I don't know why they'd be watching this, but if they are, they might know that I'm talking about them. Which will be kind of weird. <laughs> but basically, I hung out with someone recently and they mentioned someone who had a YouTube channel. They're like, I only kind of know them, but anyways, I just, I didn't know that this person had a YouTube channel. So I like, okay, looked it up and I like watched their videos, of course, like I'm nosy. And something about it just really inspired me look at my pillow pet by the way but yeah watching their videos just like inspired me to get back into my channel um so hopefully i start posting more also going back to this painting i have to say i've never ever painted fabric ever and i feel like that shows i don't think it turned out the worst but um there's definitely like a learning curve to it i think it just looks like i've never painted fabric before i think i've drawn fabric like twice like a, there's at least two things that are coming to mind 
like two drawings I've done that are coming to mind. But anyways, fabric is hard, guys. I feel like embarrassed that I've never even attempted to paint fabric before. It just goes back to the, like, I feel like I haven't grown at all. And by the time this painting's finished, I, looking back on it, I'm like, yeah, I probably couldn't have done that in middle school. But at the same time, I feel like I could have. I don't know. Because back in middle school, I never painted fabric. Yesterday or two days ago, I had never painted fabric. So I feel like if I tried it back then, I would have gotten the same result. And at the same time, like, like I just said, I feel like it would have been worse back in middle school. Just because. But at the same time, I don't know. I just feel bad and I feel like I've let myself down. I feel like I've let other people down for some reason by like not having grown and by not being like this amazing artist at my age now, you know? Because like when I was a kid, it was like, oh my gosh, you're so good for a kid and yada, yada, yada. But you know, people like to encourage little kids. So people would always really go over the top when complimenting you and whatever. My point is, the point that I'm trying to make is I feel like a fraud. I feel like other people are going to judge me for calling myself an artist i'm gonna try to put out a paint with me at least every other week i'm gonna tr uh, i'm actually yeah we're just gonna go with at least every other week um and i don't know how many of them are gonna have me talking i don't know if it's just gonna be music in the background you know but i'm just gonna really try to be consistent with it I already have an idea for another painting I want to do, one that I was gonna do for the arts festival, but then I um, did not have time. So keep me accountable. <laughs> I need you to comment. It's been a week, Fiona. Where's where's the next paint with me? And then I'll see it, and I'll be like, gotta quit the paints. You know what I mean? Also, like while you're at it, like commenting down there, you should like click the subscribe button. I guess I don't like you're already there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, but here, cheers to me actually posting art content from now on and actually being an artist if you're watching this i bet you're an artist as well so the two of us i don't know where i'm going with this really <laughs> basically bye hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe um yeah bye <laughs>